Hola, this is Jarkko from Visual Components. In this tutorial, we will learn how assemblies can be used in process modeling flow. If creating product types or assemblies is not familiar to you, please explore related tutorials first. In this tutorial, we will use one assembly to demonstrate how assemblies can be created and go through the basic principles how products can be transported in and out to and from assemblies. Our example assembly is built from pallet, some boxes and cylinders attached to that pallet, and some lathed components attached to cylinders. As in all assemblies, first we need product types to be created, then steps defined to the new assembly, and then for each step, set up slots, their locations, and default product types. As assemblies are also product types, standard process modeling feeder can be used to feed an full assembly to a production system. If your assembly contains empty slots, meaning that in any step a slot does not have default product type defined, other slots from the assembly can still be fed to a system, and empty slots can be used as a placeholder, for example, for an assembly process. An another option to create assembly to simulation is create statement. With create statement, user can select which steps are created from the selected assembly. If all steps are selected, then the whole assembly is created, assuming that slots have a default product type defined. If only some of the steps are created from an assembly, then created components are parented depending which steps are created. Even only one step is selected, then include child steps option can be used to automatically include all child steps for the selected step. If assembly's first step is not included into a selection, then the product types in the selected steps are created into process and passed as a list to be handled, for example, by a transport out statement. If multiple steps are created and the first step is not selected, then all of the components are created to a process and list is returned from the statement. List contains the components in reversed assembly order. As assembly itself and all the products it is built from belong to flow groups, normal flow editor and transport links can be used to define how assemblies themselves or related product types are moving in simulation. If only part of an assembly is transported in or out, then get assembly statement can be used to define which steps we want to transport in or out from the whole assembly. If we already have an assembly in process, for example, it has arrived through transport in, then user can use get assembly statement to select, for example, last step with products from the assembly in process. This information is passed from statement to another with assembly order variable. And for example, transport out statement in assembly mode can use this data to transport out products from the arrived assembly in reversed assembly order, meaning that child components will leave first. Any step from an assembly can be transported in or out, 
and remaining components will stay in assembly. For example, in this case, they are transported out from the process. Include child steps property can be used to include selected steps, child steps automatically into an assembly order. In previous examples, we have had existing assembly in our process. Thus, we have an assembly instance from where we can, for example, get components to be transported out. In get assembly statement, assembly data source can be also directly the assembly product type itself. Then any of the assembly steps can be selected and this assembly order data can be passed, for example, to transport out statement. Then the products in selected steps, if any, are transported out. If we have existing assembly in the process, then get assembly can be used to get product types in selected steps as a list. Thus, any statement that can handle a list of product types can be used in the process. If we want to build an assembly in simulation, then in assembly editor for each slot, a filter can be selected which product types or groups are accepted to the selected slots. Most common case is that same product type is selected to both filter and to default product type. The most common way to build an assembly process is to create an assembly's first step, for example in this case a pallet, and when this empty pallet arrives to a process, get assembly statement can be used to define which steps are transported in and automatically attached to an assembly. Selected steps are transported in and attached to an assembly in assembly order, meaning that parent steps and slots are transported in and attached first, and then their child steps are transported in and so forth. If there are many available products that are connected to a process via transport link, then any slot that accepts all product types can be filled with any available product. In addition to the step hierarchy in assembly, each step has slots and each slot has order index property that can be used to define in which order inside a step the products are transported in or transported out. If order index in slots is same, then transport in or out can be parallel, assuming that they are available products or available processes in transport out. With get assembly and transport in, it is possible to transport in a single step. 
even each parent step is not in assembly yet. In this case, the transported in product types are attached to the closest parent in assembly they have. Get assembly statement always checks which lots from an assembly are already filled, and then the assembly order is created only for the missing slots, of course depending which steps are selected in get assembly. As a conclusion, when assembly is created, products are transported in step by step, parent steps first, in order defined in a product editor. Then inside each step, order index defines which slots are filled first. When assembly is disassembled, this order is reversed, meaning that child components will leave first from the assembly. This completes the tutorial. Adios and have a good one.